today we're going to be talking about how the Ojibwa, Menominee, Potawatomi, and the Ho-Chunk Native Americans would have hunted and gathered here in Wisconsin. So when we talk about hunting and gathering, they're going to get food, right? The, every family needs to have food. And I'm wondering how we can make a connection with how we get food. When we get food, we go to the grocery store, we pick up some fruits and vegetables, we pick up some meat, we make, pick up some bread and some milk, and we go home. Now imagine, boys and girls, that um, you have to create, you have to make your tools that you need to go hunting and gathering. And so you're going to be making your tools, and your tools are going to be made out of the natural resources that are around you. Stones, bones, and sticks. So first we're going to be talking about the stones and how uh, Native Americans would have used those to create tools. So they would take any type of stone here and they would have to try to carve or shape one other stone with another stone. So imagine trying to make this triangle by knocking it and forming it in, in a way so that it's a triangle so they can use it as a tool, as a weapon to hunt with. That would take a lot of time, it would take a lot of patience, but that's what they did for thousands of years. So so bones and so stones are very important with making um, the tools that they need to make food. Another thing that they need to use is bones. So I have this deer antler here, and they would have used deer antlers to help them hunt as well and they would use it for scraping, they would use it to um, use maybe for their projectile points um, and that kind of thing. So stones, bones, and they would have used things like this. This is called an addle addle. Notice the sharp end here and this is the handle right here. Okay, so that's called an addle addle. It's much more earlier than um, than the bow and arrow. And they would also use sticks and wood to help make um, the tools that they need to have. So, bones, stones, and sticks, okay? That's how they went. They would have to create their tools to go hunt. They would hunt the large and small mammals. They would hunt the fish. They would gather um, things in the prairies or in the rivers like wild rice. If you can see here, this is called wild rice. And it's darker than the rice we're used to, but it's still delicious. And they would have also gathered berries just like cranberries or blueberries or blackberries, and they would have, um, they would gather those. They would also gather some nuts like these walnuts, and they would eat those as well. So they had meat to eat by hunting. They had fish to eat when they went fishing. They would have um, wild rice. They would have the berries, and they would have the walnuts to eat. So a well-balanced meal. Later on, thousands of years later, they started um, practicing this arrowhead and this um, projectile point business, and they're like, oh, we can do this so much better, let's keep practicing. So they made something called an arrowhead, and that's when we started having bows and arrows. And again, they're using things like stones and bones to create this arrowhead. And notice the difference between the projectile point and the arrowhead. The projectile point is much more um, it's thicker, it's heavier, it doesn't have as much of a refined style and design as this one. So this one's much thinner. This one has a very nice tip and then notice the bottom here with the notches. You can see that that's where the string would go to attach it to the arrow. Where this one doesn't have those notches, you would imagine that's a lot of skill to take care of that and not break the whole arrowhead. They didn't have those then. This this was much earlier, thousands of years earlier than this one. So you can tell that they've been practicing and you can tell that there some people are having an idea of what kind of rocks do I use for these kind of things so that they can make a better, more efficient arrowhead. All right, that is our um, History at Home lesson today. I hope to see you again soon. Have a great day. Make it historic.